How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Vora Motors. I'm AJ Hart, here today with another guide to discuss our rides. For today's video, I'm actually looking at you, person who hasn't chosen what kind of scooter they want yet, and I'm going to go over some of the scooters that we have here at Voro Motors. The goal of today's video is to look at our top three scooters and look at what makes them different and why you might choose one over the other. We're going to be looking at our Cruiser, our Touring, and the Fido to decide what maybe is going to be the best scooter for you. That's right, you. So to start this video off, let's go ahead and go up to the high dive section and start off with the Cruiser. Now the Cruiser is a beast of a scooter, right? It comes in at $1,400, it's got a range of 60 miles on a single charge, and it can cruise around uh, a little bit over 25 miles per hour. All in all, this is a beast of a scooter. And so one of the most common things that you're gonna be asking yourselves is, well, why do I need something that big or something that powerful? This scooter isn't for everybody. That's the reality of it. And as we continue getting more and more scooters and the scooter scene continues to expand with more companies, we're gonna see more scooters that aren't built for everybody, right? Not everybody needs an F350 truck and not everybody wants a Honda Civic. There are different tools for different jobs. So who needs the Cruiser exactly? The Cruiser is going to be perfect for somebody that plans on using an electric scooter as their core source of transportation for everything. They don't need a car anymore. They don't need the buses anymore. They just want a scooter. Bam, here you go. It's also excellent for people that maybe are going to be doing deliveries. If you're a DoorDash rider or an Uber Eats driver, this is gonna be an excellent tool for you because you can do all of those deliveries in a more metropolitan area without ever needing to pay for gas, which is a huge cost saver. Now doing DoorDash, of course, lends you to going down a lot of little alleys, a lot of little hidey holes, a lot of places that you wouldn't have seen before, which is also another reason why you maybe will want a cruiser. If you want to explore, like really explore without ever needing to worry about the range anxiety of whether or not you can keep exploring, this is going to be an excellent tool for you. I can't tell you how many times I've driven around the city with a cruiser and found something new that I never would have thought was there just because I was like, well, let's go ahead and take the long way around to this place. 60 miles. I'm never going to need to worry about range on that. I can take the long way every single time and you can too. So I think if you find yourself falling into any of those categories, this is going to be an excellent tool for you. With that being said, let's say that you're not looking for something with 60 miles worth of range. You're looking for something a little bit less expensive and a little bit less main source of transportation. Let's go ahead and climb down off of the high bar and let's look at some of our more digestible scooters. All right, next up, let's talk about the Touring. Now the Touring is a much smaller range, about 20 miles, 22 miles on a full charge which is still really great. That's not a bad thing or a knock against this scooter in any way, shape, or form. I love the Turing's range so much. What I really love about the Turing is how light and lightweight and small and transportable it is. Now, this isn't going to be a scooter that replaces your whole car, but it is going to be one that can easily fit in any car and take you for that last mile or five. It's gonna be an excellent tool if you decide to, say, find a parking spot in San Francisco, because you need to find some place to park your car for dirt cheap. And then you can take this out of the back and ride this scooter to wherever you actually want to be spending your day, which is a huge life saver and definitely a huge cost saver. What also makes the scooter really nice in our lineup is that it's the smallest when it's folded down. So it can fit easily not only in a car, but also on a public transport. If your commute regularly takes you on public transport, a bus, a subway, or anything like that, the turning is going to fit on part of that commute with no problem. And what's really nice is so long as there's maybe a commute that's five stops or so, you can skip the commute completely, hop on the scooter, and ride it out for the full travel. Not the full travel per se, but definitely take a good chunk of it out of the public transport and just on this bad boy. I mean, heck, if you live within 20 miles of your work, you can probably just take this thing all the way to work, put it underneath your desk at the office, and then take it back out at the end of the day. This thing's an excellent all-purpose scooter, especially for in the city living. But let's say that you're not looking for just commuting and you have some errands to run. That's going to be where our next scooter really, really excels. Bam! This is the Fido. Now the Fido is probably our strongest little errand runner. What's so nice about this scooter is that it's got a bag on the front and a bag in the middle. 
as well as the nice suspension on the front and rear wheels. The Fido QS1 is so nice for running errands. If you're going out to the grocery store, boom, throw whatever you need in the front bag and the center bag. What's also really nice about the Fido is that it's a seated electric scooter. So if you don't like going on long rides or you're standing up the whole time, the seat is built in and it's one of the sturdiest seats I've ever been on on an electric scooter. Sometimes you can get a little bit shaky when the seat is just a post, which you don't have to worry about with the Fido at all. One thing that's also really cool about the Fido is that it has a child seat that we sell with it. So if you're the kind of person that has a kid that you want to take along on your rides, the Fido is going to be an excellent choice for that because we sell a seat for it anyway. Anytime you have any kind of precious cargo, whether that be a little kid or a little bag of potato chips, the Fido is going to be able to keep you covered while you take that wherever you need to go. Another thing that's really nice about the Fido being an electric scooter and going out and taking groceries is that it's really powerful for its size. It's nothing to really sneeze at. Now the range on the scooter isn't too horrible either. It still gets about 18 miles per a full charge, so you can definitely take this thing to work. And like I said, it has one of the most comfortable seats I've ever had. So this is gonna be probably one of the most comfortable rides you can take on a scooter to work. So take that as you will. Sometimes you just want a nice cozy ride. I know I do all the time. It's what makes me gravitate towards the scooter so much on my lunch breaks. You know, I said at the beginning of this video that these scooters all service different kinds of markets, right? The Cruiser's built for one group of people, the Turing for another, and the Fido for yet another. As the scooter scene and the electric vehicle scene gets bigger and bigger, we're going to see more vehicles that are built with specific audiences in mind. Just like how a truck is built for people that need a truck, and a Honda Civic is built for people that need a Honda Civic. Luckily, we here at Voro Motors have a scooter for just about any kind of rider. If you have any questions about any of these scooters, by all means, leave those in the comments down below. If you want to see more about these scooters, check us out on our website at voromotors.com where you can see details on all of these scooters and a little bit more. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that this video helps and I hope you have a nice ride.